This is going to be a short video talking about the Ontario RAT Model 1 folding tactical knife um, and the lightning modifications I did to it. Uh, they're nothing special, but in case you guys want to know, I'll just show you before I put the knife back together. Um, these are the stainless steel liners of the RAT Model 1 folding knife. And what I did is I drilled lightning holes, four of them, in the non-locking side. I think I used a 3 8 inch drill bit on that and uh, a drill press too. That's hard steel so you need to clamp that piece down if you're going to do this otherwise it's going to spin on you. Um, after I got done drilling them I took a Dremel tool and just kind of smoothed it out on the inside of the holes so that it wouldn't gather dust too much. Then I took, I rolled up 400 grit sandpaper in a tube like uh, sanding uh, profile and then I sanded them. The, the holes a little bit. Not nothing much. I'm not going for like show quality here. I'm just trying to remove material and make it smooth enough where it doesn't catch dust and material over time. This is the locking side. Again I did three three eight three eight inch holes here. Um, notice as I came to this portion here I, I kept that hole away from this area. I didn't want to lose any strength in my locking mechanism. I think these two holes here are give me. I didn't really try to make them too evenly spaced. I probably should have brought this hole down a little bit but that's in a non-critical area right here so I think it'll be fine especially when it's reinforced with the handle scales. This one here is uh, I like how that one's placed and then I place this a little bit farther back from the locking bar just so over the years I don't have any fatigue ever develop in this area because uh, this is the spring portion um, of that liner. Also, uh, this is really hard material, and this one, I'm not sure if they made the spring portion of a different material. This one was harder to drill, though. I uh, used uh, oil, machining oil, and just took my time taking my bit through there. Don't try to hurry it. You're going to burn a bit and ruin it if you do. Also, while we got the knife apart, and I'll make reference to this in a video when I review the RAT Model 1, is you can see the phosphor bushings here, uh, also with some very thin Teflon bushings as well and that's why that knife deploys so nicely. Um, this is a quality knife for the price. I mean it does have some drawbacks which I'll talk about in my review but overall especially having taken the knife apart um, it's a very quality knife and these are the stainless steel pillars and the screws all of them which had Loctite on them so that was pretty impressive. Uh, I'll mention about the handles in my review of, the, uh, of, the, of this Model 1 by Ontario but the handle material could be improved and I may do that as well I like to put G10 and just profile it to fit the handle anyways that's the lightning modification Ontario RAT model 1 folding knife we'll see how much weight it saves me I'll compare this one against this one another version same color just non serrated version so look for my review it's coming soon